Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a fun retro image that you can customize for someone you know. I provided a Photoshop file that includes this blackboard and two textures. The file is located in the video description or project files. Change the blend mode of the top layer to multiply and reduce its opacity to 50%. Click the thumbnail of Scratches 2 to make that layer active and change its blend mode to darken. Open a photo you'd like to place over the chalkboard. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock.com. We need to separate the subject from its background by first making a selection around the subject. For this example, I'll use the Quick Selection tool and 10 pixels for its size. I'll drag the tool over my subject to select it. To remove areas of the selection, I'll press and hold Alt or Option and drag over those areas. To refine the selection around her hair, I'll go to Select and Refine Edge. I did an in-depth tutorial on the Refine Edge tool, so I won't be going over all the features here. I'll check Smart Radius. To adjust the size of your brush, Press the left or right arrow key on your keyboard. Now I'll brush over the hair. I'll output it as a layer mask and click OK. Notice a layer mask of the selection was placed next to the layer. Press V to open your Move tool and drag it onto the tab of the chalkboard document. Without releasing your cursor, drag it down onto the chalkboard and release. To resize it, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Press Ctrl or Command 0 to see the Transform's entire bounding box. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. When you've resized and positioned your subject, press Enter or Return. To see your document at 100%, Press Ctrl or Command plus 1. We'll convert it into a smart object, which allows us to modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the small icon at the top right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Hue Saturation. Drag the saturation all the way to the left. Click the thumbnail of your subject to make it active and click the FX icon. Click Drop Shadow. The blend mode is Multiply, the color is Black and make the opacity 40%. Uncheck Global Light. The angle of your drop shadow should be consistent with the angle of the light on your subject. For example, since the shadows on this subject are mostly down and to the right, I'll make sure the angle of the line in the circle is pointing in that direction as well. Make the distance 180 pixels and the size 18 pixels. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. Make the amount 15% and Uniform. We're ready to add text. Make the background layer active and open your Horizontal Type tool. Choose Left Alignment and go to Window and Character. Your Character panel will open. Choose a font. I'm using Air Americana Regular. I provided links to this font and another I'll be using later. For this font, I'll make the size 120 points. However, you may want to use a different size depending on the font you use and the amount of characters in your text. Click the color box, and for brightness, type in 80%. Then, click OK. Click on your document and type your text. To make a character bigger, highlight it, and drag the size icon to the right. To lower or raise the character, slide the baseline shift icon to the left or right. To adjust the space between characters, Click between those characters 
and press and hold Alt or Option as you press the right or left arrow key on your keyboard. We'll convert your text into a smart object, so in case we want to change or modify it, we won't have to redo all the effects. To do this, click your Move tool and go to Layer, Smart Objects, and Convert to Smart Object. To angle your line of text, open your Transform tool, go to a corner, and when you see a curved double arrow, rotate it to an angle you like and position it. Then press Enter or Return. Click the FX icon and click Drop Shadow. Reduce the opacity to 70% and uncheck Global Light. The angle should be 120 degrees. Make the distance 24 pixels and the size 0. Then click OK. Click on your document again and pick another font. I'm using Honeyscript Semi Bold. I'll type in a temporary size of 50 points and make the baseline shift 0. Type out your text. Highlight your text, resize it to your liking, and adjust its kerning. To reposition it, click your Move tool and move it. If you want to italicize it, click the Faux Italic icon. Click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Click the FX icon and click Drop Shadow. Make the opacity 70% and uncheck Global Light. Make the distance 23 pixels, the spread 100% and the size 7 pixels. Click Stroke. Make the size 6 pixels and the position outside. Click the color box and click on the chalkboard next to your text to pick up the chalkboard's color. Then click OK on both windows. Use your Transform tool to angle, reposition, and resize your text. Notice it's covering the text below it. I'd like to reverse their positions, so I'll go to the Layers panel and drag the top text layer below the other text layer. To reposition it, just drag it. We can close the character panel now. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Let's name it Border. Change its Blend Mode to Dissolve and make its Opacity 90%. Open your Brush Tool, make the size 8 pixels and the Hardness 100%. Click the gear icon and click M Brushes. When you see this message, click OK to replace the current brushes with the M Brushes. Click the gear icon again and choose Small List. Click the Square Char Brush and make its size 8 pixels. Click the foreground color and for brightness, type in 70%. Go near the top left corner of your document and press and hold Shift as you drag a line across to approximately the same distance from the edge of your document. Then release. Press and hold Shift again and drag another line straight down. Continue to do this until you've made a rectangular border. Next, I'll show you how to add a cartoon drawing to the chalkboard. Scroll to the bottom and make a new layer. Name it whatever you'd like. Change its Blend Mode to Dissolve and make its Opacity 90%. Invert the foreground and background colors by pressing X on your keyboard or by clicking this icon. Click the foreground color and for brightness, type in 5. This makes your brush almost black. Then click OK. Go to an area you'd like to make your cartoon and draw whatever you'd like. We'll fill it with a light gray in a moment. Make a new layer below your drawing. To do this, control-click 
or command click on the new layer icon and then name it. Change the blend mode to dissolve. Invert the colors and loosely brush in areas inside your cartoon. Lastly, I'll show you how to reposition your text and cartoon all together. The layer that should be presently active is the inside of your cartoon. Shift click on the top text layer, which will highlight all the layers in between. Now, when you drag it, all the layers will move together. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.